Here we go, folks. These are some very simple stretches to stretch out the hips and the back. If you commit to doing these a couple times a week, five to 10 minutes, set that timer. This could bring you a lot of relief. Remember that stretching compounds on itself, just like working out one time isn't gonna be a quick fix, but if you do little bit by little bit, you can really get some relief in all your tight spots. We're gonna start off by laying all the way down on our back. First thing you wanna do is just relax your body, taking a deep breath in, deep breath out. Stretching is always more effective when we are relaxed. From here, you're gonna pinch your feet together. You're gonna pinch your knees together. You're gonna bring tension between the two. And then we're gonna drop them to the right side. Once you're in this position, you're gonna let your chest stay neutral. You don't wanna necessarily rock with the body. You're gonna to try to keep contact with the ground with your two shoulder blades. Then you're gonna to continue to make the tension between your knees, keeping your feet stacked, and then we're gonna bring our knees down toward the ground. So that tension is between the knees and then you're gonna press both knees down to the ground. And then we're gonna slightly shift our hips towards the ceiling. It's a very small shift. You're just creating a tug of war. So your hips are pointing towards the ceiling and your knees are pointing down toward the ground. Then it should be opening this up. Right now, I feel it in my lower back. You might feel it more in the knees or in the hips and that is just fine as well. I'm gonna take a deep breath in, deep breath out. And you're gonna to wanna to take a couple deep breaths here, about two to three, finding your tension points, repinching the knees, pressing them down toward the ground. Again, the bigger, the better, the breath, the better the stretch, relaxing into it. Then we're gonna come up. And then we're gonna reset. Make sure you always reset. The other side of the body isn't gonna just automatically know what to do. You have to teach the same way you did that other side. So we're gonna reset. We're gonna pinch the feet, pinch the knees together, and then we're gonna let them drop, keeping the chest open. Then we're gonna bring that tension between the knees again, and then press them both down towards the ground. And I'm gonna slightly shift my hips up towards the ceiling. And then I'm gonna start my breathing. I'm gonna take a deep breath in, deep breath out again. Bigger the better the stretch, breath, Bigger, better, better the stretch. Good, again, resetting those tension points, pinching those knees, rotating those hips. And then we're gonna come back up. Make sure you kind of shake it up. Then very similar position, you're gonna walk those feet out wide. Hands are gonna remain just in a comfortable position, whatever makes you feel most comfortable. And then we are gonna start with our right side. We're gonna drop our right knee down center toward the ground. As we're pressing that knee down towards the ground, we're gonna squeeze our right glute. You should feel tension in the front of the hip. And then we're gonna slightly shift our lower back towards the ground. Your lower back will not go to the ground. But again, you're creating that tension point where your knee is pressing one way and your back is pressing another. So that it's opening up the front of that hip. If this becomes painful at any point, please bring that knee up and reset it. If it just feels uncomfortable, then we are doing it right. A couple deep breaths here. And then we're gonna switch sides. Same thing, dropping the knee squeezing the glute and then pressing the lower back down toward the ground. Again, don't be concerned about that lower back going down to the ground. It's more just heading that direction. And then a couple deep breaths in. Deep breath out. Relaxing into this position. And then coming out of it and shaking it out. Please spend as much time, if any of those, as you, you need to. I'm just rolling with this thing, but if one feels like it needs a little bit more time, feel free to do that. 
We are gonna do one final one. This is a non-traditional child's pose. My hands are gonna come out in front and my booty is going to go up towards the ceiling. I'm reaching my fingertips forward and I'm reaching my hips up to the sky. When I'm in this position, I'm gonna go back to my breathing. Deep breath in, deep exhale. And I'm gonna rotate my armpits out, rotate them in if you can. A little bonus stretch here. And then you can fully relax, bringing those hips down and then taking a couple more deep breaths here. And then coming up again, if you felt like one of these was more effective than another, go ahead and repeat that. Maybe don't do one of the ones that you couldn't connect with. Just make sure that you are spending your time efficiently doing these and not just going through the motions of these. Make sure that they're beneficial for your hips, your knees, your back, whatever you are having the most tenderness with.